All right, and we're back. Thank you for your patience with this entire pandemic that's going on. It's become incredibly difficult for things to happen. And you may be asking, well, you're stuck at home. You're stuck at home. Why can't you do videos? Well, things have happened. And without going into details, I'm back for the pandemic with my pandemic beard. Let's get into this. <laughs> So what we're trying to do is paint the opponent into a corner and then poke them with a stick. If that sounds fun for you, stay tuned. Okay. So what we're, what we're really trying to do is use Doom Foretold to trap them. And the way that this traps them is they have to sacrifice a non-land permanent, non-token permanent. And if they can't, we get a 2-2 knight. They discard a card and we gain two life. Amazing. And... If they somehow get rid of this, or we have to sacrifice this ourselves, we can use Brought Back to bring it straight back to the battlefield, or Cavalier of Dawn to get it back to our hand, repeating it from the graveyard. So this is the stupid, you know, loop that I'm trying to go for. So four copies of Doom Foretold actually turns into about 12, and they can't handle 12 copies of Doom Foretold, and that's just any deck, any deck. So we've got Birth of Melodus to dig into our deck, try and get a land, get a 0-4 wall, gain 2 life. Beautiful. Then we have Final Payment, which we can use to either sacrifice the 0-4 wall or the Birth of Melodus to kill a creature at instant speed. But mainly we're going to use that with Treacherous Blessing. So this comes down as an enchantment, gaining us 3 card draw, and then every spell we cast after that is going to ping us for 1 life. But if you use Final Payment, it doesn't actually do any damage to you. You can just kill a creature and get rid of your pain thing. You've got our 3 card draw, done. That's the, the service is done, get rid of it. So those two together are busted. Absolutely busted. Now if you have an Archon of Sun's Grace down, you're going to also get a 0 uh, two, 2 Flyer. Man what more value could you want? We're going to kill a creature, get three card draw, and a 2-2 a two, two flyer on top of our 3-4. So this is this loop that I'm trying to explain that we're going to have endless volumes of creatures, even though we've only got six creatures in the whole deck, and they're from turn four forward. So the way we stick around is we're going to gain two life from this, we're going to gain three life from our Earth Akaya, potentially two life from our Doom Foretold, so we're just staying in the game. And then if we somehow have an Archon stick around, there's some more life gain right there. We're going to constantly stay in the game. We get all the way down to 8, and then somehow we're back up to 20. And the whole board is just... They have to sacrifice their own board. It's not us killing it. It's, there's a lot of, you know, like, things that happen in that sense where we aren't killing their creatures. They are. And that's the idea of the trap. So we use Idyllic Tutor to dig up our Doom Foretold because that's our main cheese. But let's just say we need some life gain and to get rid of a creature. Or we need some card draw. Or we need a land. Or we need a Elspeth Conquer's Death for the obvious reasons. Idyllic Tutor. It's a winning combination, especially on turn 6 where we can be like dig up something like Treasure's Blessing and play it on the same turn. Or an Othakaya or a Birth. So turn 6, this really shows the true power. But our brought back has multiple times where I have sacrificed with Doom Foretold our Treacherous Blessing. And then our Elspeth Conquers Death hits the third uh, saga phase, brings back a creature. And then we brought back. And we get our three card draw and then do this whole saga again. So that's where brought back holds its most you know, prevalent space in the deck. Our Cavalier of Dawn is the king of this whole brew. Without him, I think this would probably not function the same. And the way that he really brings a powerhouse down is the fact that he comes down, destroy a permanent, and they gain a 3-3. So it could be a, a Nissa, or it could be whatever, uh, you know, a Calamity. We get rid of it, give him a 3-3, but we're left with a 4-6 to block it. So we, we're kind of good. Or we could kill a Treacherous Blessing, 
so we don't take any more damage and get a 3-3 out of the equation. But the main cheese of him is when he dies. When Cavalier of Dawn dies, return target artifact or enchantment to your hand. So we can bring back an Elspeth or a Doom Foretold or any of the ones I've mentioned prior. So it just repeats the deck. He basically main, means we have, you know, seven copies of this, seven copies of this, seven copies of this, seven copies of this. You see what I'm saying? It's like you, you bring him down, they use a removal on him, and we get back something that's going to then really put them in the hard position. So this is a stupid paint them into a corner Pokemon with a stick deck, and I love it. It is stupid fun, and I highly recommend. If you have these cards, build it. If you want to buy new cards at the end of this current meta if you're still looking to build a deck and spend spend your wild cards i recommend this deck it's actually very fun and stupid stupid for the opponent our mana base i decided to go with eight planes mainly because of cavalier of dawn and elspeth and our archon there's a heavy devotion to white but we also have four birth of melodis where we are going to dig up that white so you don't want to play this with no white to dig in for. Our black is sort of definitely prevalent, and we have five, maybe six blacks for that exact reason, plus all of our combo lands. I have three scries and three pains, and I think that's a good combo combined with our Fable Passage. And Fable Passage is a bit awkward in this deck, but it works. It actually works. You can dig up the white that you need to play these devotions, and then you can use Brought Back, to bring back the fable as well which is a little undercurrent that they don't see coming and then we dig up another land plus we thin our deck plus we get the land we need it just works stupid so that's the idea of the deck i hope you enjoy the video let's get into some games because the best way to show you is the actual gameplay and enough chin flapping for my beard let's do this all right well i think we should keep that we'll go and get a black hopefully we find a birth of militus That'd be fantastic. Okay, come on now. Have a little scryzel. Have a little dig see. Have a look see. Whatever, mate. Whatever. All right. So we still missed our black bart. We got our black. So I think we go for a white. So we can do this guy when it's time. So we've got our fourth land. We don't need this right now. We do need a two drop. And we missed a two drop. So we'll just go this untapped. Let that slide. Next turn we can dig in. That's not the best though, considering. Okay. Okay. What you thinking about? Nothing. Maybe put something down here. No. Okay, well, we shall... I think he's obviously holding something for our turn. I think we should go in with this. Just so we can dig in. Okay, so discard two cards. I think we get rid of our Blam. And our, I guess, Doom Foretold. We don't want two of them. We're going to get it back with this guy anyway. So ideally, he drops something here. So we can go Doom Foretold. Tap down and drop something. Sounds like a rap song. Tap down and drop something. Don't judge me. Okay, that's good news. That's fantastic news. Fantastic news for everybody involved. Okay, so we'll go with a Doom Foretold. Get rid of that. Let's wet our whistle. Little moon dog. Yes, you have to sacrifice it, buddy. You gutster. 
Ja. Okay. So. A message from my little brother. Okay. So you don't obviously respect the doom foretold. What does he bring back? Okay, so what is he gonna potentially put on top of his library? Either Nissa or or the, him. One of those two, I'd imagine. Yeah, we'll sacrifice that. Um, now, now. I think we still dig in a little bit here. What about that sacrifice? Um, I know it's my go, buddy. Oh, I know. Don't you worry your pretty little face. I have to discard if we do that. I think we can hold off, but we still need something to sacrifice. Okay, so we'll dig in. We'll drop that. Yeah, so get rid of your cavalier. And put what on top? He's having a good, long, hard think. Difference is he's got now three cards in hand. Maybe two. Maybe two. We don't know yet. We're about to find out. And what are you going to put on top? Another Cavalier of Thorns. Okay. Sweet. Whatevs. Maybe, maybe it's not. I should span him your go, shouldn't I? It's like, when you play Magic Arena, I always think you should hold the same etiquette as if you're playing face-to-face -face on a kitchen table. You're gonna sit there and go, your go, your go, your go, your go. Right? Or if you're going to win, I'm gonna scoop. That's just, we wanna play another game, yeah? So like people forget about that for some reason. Some like shanch. So he did go for the Cavalier. Fantastic. Is he gonna put something else down? Go on. Put something else down. It's your go, buddy old pal. You've been telling me it's my go. I, I haven't even had my timer come on. Or did I? I can't remember. So he's put something else down, which is bizarre. He obviously doesn't understand the doom foretold properly. Which is fine. You don't, you don't need to, I guess. Three and three. Okay. And we'll just go there. And we'll go like this. Might as well shuffle our library. And get rid of your voracious Hydra. Maybe he's going to finally go, well, I'm not going to play anything this turn. It's like Doom Foretold is a trap, especially if I keep putting things down to sack, right? Like, and I've got a second one, so if he finally has something to get rid of it, we'll just replicate it. We're good. We good. Put our next land and then our cavalier. Okay, so again, not respecting the doom foretold. Cool. I think we need this. Okay, he's just gonna scoop. He realized, he realized, a little bit too late. Okay, this looks good, they go first. We've got a little sneaky sneakerson here. We go and get our other land, which is nice, turn two. We've got enough to drop our cavalier, so we're pretty happy. Oh, do we? Yes, we will. 
Yes, we will. And there's our other land. Oops, what am I doing? That's what I meant to do. Getting pandemic brain over here. I'll dig up one of these mofos. Thanks for joining the party with our little land flood that's going on. Okay, well, that's cool. That's cool. We'll get rid of one of them. No dramas, Matt. Okay, okay. So I think we just get rid of the lurker because he's going to pay three to give it plus two. Yeah, we'll just get rid of it. Whatever. He could bring it back. We know, but we'll deal with that when it happens. We're going to go Archon next. Okay. Okay. Get rid of one of them. We don't need two. Yep. Oh, gain some life. Gain some life. Bring out the Archon. Welcome to the party. Have some moon dog for some inspiration. All right. Nice. Way to destroy me thing, mate. Way to destroy me thing. Now we'll bring out the Cavalier. And what are you going to bring back? Uh, yeah, look a little familiar. Yarok, I should say. Yarok's familiar. I'm getting all weird right now. Well, that did nothing. Little, uh, little free turn, I guess. Nice. Nice. Well, we're just going to get rid of our wall. Might as well put this down. Now you're going to double whammy. I think you are. Let's get rid of you. And let's bring back something like Birth of Miletus. And let's get rid of your banner. You're going to do three damage, but who cares? Right? What are you putting down? What are you thinking about right here? Oh, unless it has flash, you can't really play anything, can you? It's the beginning of your upkeep. And you can't sacrifice him. He's a token. Okay. Sure. Do you have a two drop? You do not! Yeah, we'll drop this. And he's going to discard a card if we do that. I think we go like this. Give a little shuffle, little shuffle Rooney. Play said shuffle. And then end turn. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine, mate. We can draw a card, take three damage. Oh, easy. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So you're going to attack, are you? No damage. No blocks. Thank you. So, oh, ooh. End of turn. 
no, I don't really want to take four. Okay. We can't really use that. We've already played land. I think we just get rid of his knight. Bada bing, bada boom. No attacks. That's fine. That's fine, mate. That's fine. Mm. Now you're going to sacrifice? No. Chose not to. Well, that's an interesting turn of events, isn't it? So let's get rid of Liliana. And then let's... What do we have in here? Yeah, we've got to do him for told. So let's attack with him. Yes, everyone falls for that. Yes, let's get a doom foretold. Thank you. Thank you very much. So what do you got this turn? Because next turn you can't do nothing. Unless you use your whole mana base. Okay, cool. So we'll block there. There and there. Block. No worries. And you're going to get rid of my wall. Oh, well. There's, oh, he chose not to. He chose not to. Well, let's go Doom for Told. And then let's go with our Aurora, our Treacherous Blessing. What was I going to say? Aurora's Blessing. I don't even know what that's from. Snap. Yeah, cool. And turn. So you get rid of him. Bring back your one, two. Or your Yarox Familiar. Which one? It's a hard pickings. Now that's a hard pickings. Ah, oh, he chose him. That's fantastic. Fantastic news. Double down, I see. So let's shuffle our deck. Shuffle our deck. We're going to do this in case we get another Birth of Miletus. Okay, so get rid of one of them, like this one. And let's bring back something like this. Yes, that's fine. Put a 1 1 on him. We'll just drop one of those mofos. Yeah, I didn't think about that, did I? Okay, let's just do this. It's not going to get rid of anything. It's just going to give us another scoop. <laughs> it's going to give us another scoop. Full of scoops, this deck. Okay, I think we keep this. We've got a scry into another land. Oh, yay. Yay. Let's go for a scry. I need two. We need another land, but we're going to get one next turn. Cool. Cool. Land? 
We kept a one lander. And that's why. You might as well ping it. Yeah. Yeah. I get that. I understand. We're on a little bit of a race here. A little bit of a race. Yeah, cool, cool. No worries, mind. So, we'll just drop this guy. Maybe he's got a buff. At least we got a blocker. Do you have a buff? You do not. Back to 18. Cool. Cool. Okay. He's not going to like my next move, is he? Ooh, that was close. Get rid of that guy, Tor Tordebran. Oh, super scoop. You're a mono red charge, and you realize I've gone back to 20 and trapped you. Trapped you in the corner. Painted you into a corner and poked you with a stick. 